Hello, and welcome to another Tech Talk. A few months ago, I replaced my aging MacBook Pro with an Apple Silicon M1 MacBook Air, and I've been very interested in using the new Parallel 17 to set up an offline general purpose Linux environment with as little memory pressure as I can get away with to save wear and tear swapping to the SSD. Let's look at the solution now. I've been a Parallels user for over 10 years now and found it to be a top-notch Type 2 hypervisor in terms of performance and broad support. In fact, in some areas it's been said to approach bare metal performance as in a Type 1. For this solution, I'm choosing Fedora ARM64 as ZRAM is enabled by default, further preserving precious memory and reducing the pressure. Since I'll continue to use the main macOS interface, a full GNOME desktop will be unnecessary, so I've chosen i3 to cut down on RAM consumption even further. So let's begin by launching Parallels. So here we are on the Mac. This is Parallels Desktop 17 for Mac Pro Edition. And uh, yeah, so let's continue here and download Fedora Linux, ARM64 version. And let's go ahead and do that. This will take a while. All right, now it's validating. It says this may take a few minutes. Now it's unarchiving. Registering with uh, the Parallels hypervisor. Now it's booting up for the first boot. Okay, so it wants us to log in as the Parallels user. And it's asking for new password, so I'll enter it. And I'll retype it to confirm. And there we are with our GNOME 40 desktop. So it wants the sudo password to install the Parallels tools, which includes drivers, etc. So let's do that. Install Parallels tools. I like how uh, Parallels automates this process, makes it very simple and kind of tough to, to go wrong here. And we're almost done. Okay, installation was successful. So it's time to restart. There we go, we're offered a Fedora boot option. Let's take it. And there's the Parallels user. Let's make this a little bigger here. So you can see a little better. So let's log in with the password we just gave ourselves. So that'll be GNOME on XORG. Wayland is uh, pointless for this virtual machine. Okay, we're back to the GNOME 40 desktop. So first things first, let's open up a terminal. And let's make it a little bigger. And let's make sure we've got all the latest patches and updates. So sudo dnf update. Enter a password here. And let's sync up with the repositories. And 
and uh, got a whole bunch of packages to update. So let's hit Y for yes. And uh, looks like 224 packages. So this will take some time. And it's done downloading. So now it's uh, doing the upgrading itself. So a total of 446 transactions. Whole bunch of updates since Fedora 34 ARM 64 was released. Okay, and it's complete. So it's time now to reboot the machine with the sudo reboot. And there it goes. Uh, we're back to the Parallels firmware screen. Okay, back to GDM. So let's log in as Parallels. And we're back. Let's launch the terminal again. And let us uh, sudo dnf install neofetch. Take a look at, at our status here. Um, that pulls in a bunch of packages. Let that, let those install rather. Okay, that's done. Let's clear the screen and let's type neofetch. This is what we're currently running, GNOME 40. And we're using uh, from the two gigs that the uh, VM is assigned, it's using about half that, about a one gibibyte. And a bit of swap there too. So, yeah. So for an eight gig MacBook Air, it wants to use two gigs by default, Parallels does. So let's see if we can tighten this a little further. First off, let's add um, a new user. So let's unlock the setting screen for users. Let's click add user, let's make this new user administrator, call him Steven. Okay, for the password, I'll enter my password uh, once and twice to confirm and click on add. There we go. So Steven has now been set up and an administrator on this machine. So let's go ahead and log out. Let's log back in again as Steven with the password. Yeah, no one XORG is fine. All right, now we don't need today to do the uh, welcome uh, tutorial for GNOME 40. Uh, let's launch terminal again and let's sudo dnf install i3. Yeah, let's do the sudo password. So i3 pulls in more packages to install as dependencies. Okay, that's done. All right. Um, so the defaults for i3, particularly with the EURXVT terminal, are kind of ugly for my taste. So let's do some basic theming here. Uh, let's go to terminal.sexy and hit enter. And let's close this window. Let's close this window and this one. Let's open the uh, scheme browser. And for the scheme today, I'd like to choose uh, default.dark. And uh, 
let's go over here and export the tab, uh, click on export. So these are the X resource uh, entries that I'd like to copy. And let's switch over to the terminal and let's nano dot capital X resources and paste them in here. So this is the asterisk is general for um, this theme. So let's uh, merge the database by typing xrdb dash merge tilde dash dot capital X resources. And that's done. So let's uh, log out and let's go ahead and log in again as myself. And this time I'll choose the i3 session in GDM and hit enter. There we go. So yes, we'd like to generate the config. So I'll hit enter. Make it a little bigger here. So hit enter for yes. And the alt key is the option key in Mac. So we'll use the option alt key for the modifier key, mod key. So mod enter, and there's our uh, terminal in i3. Let's take a look at the file system table here. Yeah, so we've got a basic Fedora 34 install, BTRFS root, and home. And now we're using less than half of what we used before, 400, probably going to be settling down to a lot less than that, 400 megabytes. So that's a lot less. It's NeoFetch. So we're running, we're using a little, a little over 400 megabytes of the two gigs assigned. That's a major, major improvement there. So I would say that uh, this solution has been successful. I found that Parallel 17 works great on the latest M1 Apple machines and opens the door to a wider developer audience for workflows requiring less restrictions that specialized containers can offer. Thanks for watching, and if this video was useful to you, as I hope it was, please leave comments below, like, and subscribe to support this growing channel. Until next time, take care.